All products bought in this video were from Chaos Cards, which you can check out at chaoscards.co.uk, and they sell all sorts of board games, role-playing games, dice games, miniature games, and trading card games, and some like not so well-known trading card games like My Little Pony, Power Rangers, or well, the loads more, and also accessories for those games like. Uh, deck sleeves, play mats, binders, etc. Right here, and this is the second, as you see, trial deck called Rena Logic. And the featured logical list is Tamaki Rene. It also says TCG that trances with you. Who will you choose to trance with? And the bag is basically the same, different cards obviously. And there is the only changes in this technically is it focuses on reusing the cards in your drop zone. It utilizes the world of spirits. Dysphia's best characteristics it features a balance between heavens, ground, and underworld where the spirits linger, dodge your opponent's attack, and use yellow cards at opportunistic moments. So, as you see, Dysphia is the featured world, and that's its symbol, and the featured color is yellow. That is basically the only change really in the info on the back, as well as obviously the card names. And also this, if you noticed before, it's different considering this one it has luck and logic, then it has Rene there, and the other one has luck and logic and it's brave here. I don't know if they're gonna put it, like something different in a different trial deck or not, but who knows until it comes out. So for the sake of Making it a bit faster, I already stuck the uh, tape on either side, so easier, well, not easier, but faster to come out. So now I keep the box. So let's get it on. <clears throat> right, so the only real change is, well, it's got her on the front basically says the same thing. Yeah. So we'll go, need to go over that one. So I'm guessing since on the back of this, yeah, it's got like the Rena Logic deck guide, which you can go over if you buy this. Then it's got the character info. Logicalist, which is in Foreigner, which is Dragon Princess Emperor Jewel Salin. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. That's, I think, Chinese or like a sort of. Anyway, basically, and also obviously, taking about card stuff. Let's see, the world. This so, first of all, here's the this picture. I like the story. If you wish to read, pause and read. <laughs> Bit more of the uh, social stuff there. And about the booster. Then this is the picture for the world, Dysphia. And most likely it will be in one of the gate cards, that picture. Anyway, what it says, a world of lingering souls, parallel dimension, Jalen calls home is known as Dysphia, 
It's comprised of the heavens, ground, and underworld, and it's inhabited by lingering souls. The metropolis Shinkyo, uh, yeah, Shinkyo, is concealed by an enormous barrier to repel evil spirits. So are Igami and the miasma that bring it brings, and is constantly polishing its eradication techniques. So that's basically it for that. That's on the back of the uh, play mat. So let's go through this. I guess I can do that. Anyway, throw that away. And we'll look at the gate cards first. Might as well. And if it's the same as the other... So I guess all cards will have a green back, that's just the design, but on the inside they'll have, as you see, yellow for the uh, card color. Anyway, so oh, as I was right, this is very pretty. These are the gate cards, so and there will probably be two of each. as if they're following the other deck. So this is Tower of the Five Heavens Rock. So this is when this gate is destroyed, put the top three cards from your deck into your stock zone. The metropolis Shinkyo has a gigantic barrier surrounding it, protecting it from the threat of Sawarigami. Unkyo District. Hmm. Dysphia is a world where souls are reborn and is comprised of the heavens, ground, and the netherworld. Kind of makes me think of Serete from Bleach, really, but yeah. Serete is all started here. Anyway, moving on. When this gate is destroyed, put the top card from your deck into your stock zone, and draw a card. Though this reminds me of Spirited Away. <laughs> anyway. 100 rows of burning candles. This, When this gate is destroyed, put the top card from your deck into your stock zone. Choose a member of your, in your drop zone, and return it to your hand. Well, that is very pretty. <laughs> Too bad they didn't make these holographic. No, but anyway. Kirin Palace. When this gate is destroyed, put the top card from your deck into the stock zone. If you have four or more destroyed gates, choose all of your opponent's members and rest them. So to fight against the Sauragami, Monster, Dysphia has polished its techniques to deal with evil spirits. And last, Tori Gate of the Nether Garden. Reminds me of those in those animes with like the temple long steps, like, yeah, those anime. Anyway. When this gate is destroyed, put the top card from your deck into your stock zone. Then, if you have four or more destroyed gates, choose a level four or less member in your drop zone and mobilize it without paying the cost. The flavor text <coughs> is during their time of reckoning. Souls that have died on the ground can climb to the heavens or can be purified in the netherworld. Right, so yeah, that's pretty cool. All the artwork is absolutely amazing. So yeah. Even if I don't play it, I'd probably still collect it just for the artwork. It's awesome. Moving on. So here. <coughs> is the holographic first card. 
which is towards the future together, Tamaki. Feel the wrath of our maximum logic. Ooh. We have two of those. Glistening Emperor Jewel, Tamaki. Tamaki and Zhaolin help each other grow. Four of those. Layered re Renaissance, Tamaki. Her melodies have the power to touch a person's heart when each piece piles up harmoniously. Two of those. Three of these. It is unwavering conviction, Tamaki. Is that all you got? It's not even a scratch. <laughs> Ooh. New potential, Tamaki. Um. Orihi Otohime's weapon is. You don't have to be so nervous, Tamaki. of those. Awakened power, Tamaki. So this is trance. Whoa, this is a strange feeling. Four of those. So if I didn't say before, those as you see at the top in the green there, it says trance union. So this is the logicalist, Tamaki, it's <laughs> actually in the name too. Flavor text is, to protect the people of this world and in order to fulfill her goals, Tamaki works hard day in and day out. <clears throat> Workaholic. <clears throat> Diligent studying Tamaki. As a logicalist, I want to protect everyone and bury my face in books. Four of those. Delicate smile, Tamaki. It's as if I got a new little sister. Two of those. Then a dragon princess emperor jewel, Shaolin. A descendant of the yellow dragon. You can address me as Zhaolin. Four of those. Ooh. Music performer. Divine music Otohime. That's pretty. Uh, as you can see, foreigner at the top. Four of those. And it's another foreigner. This is ALCA member, Shaolin. Or Shaolin. Did I actually read it? Alright, no, I didn't. Um, the name Otohime is generally passed down to the ruler of the Dragon Palace. Alright. This flavor text is. Tamaki was miraculously able to appease the selfish dragon princess and guide her to ALCA. Two of those. Now we've got tactics cards. So, you've got 108 repertoires. Tonight is our stage. Hmm. Two of those. <laughs> Hidden Technique Awakening Tamaki, use this special technique and deliver the final blow. Shalin, there's a word you aren't able to read, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, I can see. <laughs> Good one. Okay, now we have ooh, a holographic paradox card. And this is Ark Bolt on stage, now seating for the Banquet of Thunder. Cool. Four of 
four of those. Then we have the last four cards uh, that are the same thing. And it is Abyssal Utopia. The place of enjoyment will make you forget about time. And for some reason I can link that into Percy Jackson. Uh, yeah. Totally reminding of weird things weird here and there. Anyway, so yes, so that is it for all of these and this is upside down. Right. So that is it for this booster. That is really pretty though. Even if I can't, as I said before, I'm repeating myself, but even if I don't play, I just collect them for the art, because it's very, very, very pretty, well drawn, or, yeah, drawn. Anyway, so yeah, so that is it. Another deck has not come out yet, so I'll have to wait for that. I'll probably get it. And... Stay tuned for boosters when I get around to buying them and other trading cards and stuff that you've seen on my channel. So thank you for watching. I can strive for more. Over and out.